Today I'm going to show you my tips on how to spot fake emails and how to determine if an email is fake or if it's real. I got this email a couple of days ago and I'm going to share it to you back here on the screen. You can follow along as I pinpoint how I determined this email to be fake. And I have to admit, it's a pretty good one too. It's a pretty good fake. If you look at the top, it says, Forward, can you reach out to Nina from Nina Ross Business Consulting? Well, that's me. And it goes on, uh, Hi, Nina. My CEO asked that I personally reach out to you. See below. And I went below and I, I'm looking at this and it's right up my alley. I do present at workshops. I do present as a keynote speaker. I do all of these things, as you can tell by my YouTube channel, and they wanted to know if I would talk to them for a quick 15 minute meeting. To determine if an email is fake or if it's real, I start at the top. I looked at this email address from this Jessica person, Jessica at small.com. The first thing I did, I put it in a search engine to determine if I would find some information about this person. Well, if you put that email into a search engine, you're going to get squat. Second, I put in the CEO's name into a search engine. I didn't really get anything there either. Of course, everyone knows, do not click on <coughs> any link in any email that you receive from someone you don't know. If you did not initiate the email, do not click on anything as it relates to a link and especially an attachment. So I went to the forward email and I put in the website and it bounced to a org. Is that the same company? Well, sometimes their companies will purchase all of the domain names and point them back to their main website. But what I didn't see is the name Zach in that website, the .org one. So I went to LinkedIn, didn't see anything there for this person. I also went to LinkedIn for this Jessica. Well, that's a common name. I did not see one related to a small .com. So the kicker, and this is the most important thing to determine if an email is fake or if it's real is if you look at that forward area, what's missing? Tell me what's missing. On any legitimate email you send, you will see a time and a date stamp. And in the forwarded email, you do not see that date stamp. Bruh. As a business operations manager, your employees are gonna come to you and they're gonna ask you, hey, I got this email, is it fake or is it real? And it is up to you to determine to protect your company and its assets if an email is real or fake. Don't be quick to click on anything in an email. I don't care how exciting the email seems to be. Chances are if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Don't be in a hurry, business operations managers. You are on the front lines as it relates to your company and protecting it. If you've received any emails like this, let me know in the comment section below and let me know your strategy on how to deal with fake emails. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.